welcome back to another video and I go racing it's always a good day when I go racing so I'm going to test out the new setup to see what's what if it's helpful if less power in the mid-range is actually better and if having more power makes things more better so on my way to the track now put in some fuel the last time I had about quarter tank and then I put in like 12 13 liters of eth and I had almost half a tank of fuel that was a bit too much so I tried to keep it just under quarter yeah it's getting it's getting dark but at least it's going to be a cooler evening so my intake temp should be good what I'm focusing on tonight is just trying to get my launch right just to see what RPM I need to launch this turbo with because when I did some testing on the street uh, the RPM was way too low so I'm gonna take it up to about 4,000 and then play around with some boost strategies I'm gonna try boost by speed and hopefully I have good luck I've still got got the switch that I'll be testing with but yeah I'll see what works best for me let's get into this so it's just as I expected there is <laughs> like no one yet no spectators yet I know it's still early but it's, yeah, it's really quiet which is great for testing so I'll be able to get quite a few runs in okay this will be my first run Surprisingly easy. Let's see what it does. This is going to be very, very interesting. too much wheel spin I am that was low boost and yeah that was a lot of spinning I tried to modulate modulate is not working this is going to be a challenging car to drive my word that was a a 1518 okay so I'm racing JP Motorsport car yeah he's going to absolutely gap me that was not a great burnout sorted out that felt that felt good 
ish. So I just have some people scrutinizing the the upgrades, but yeah, I am I am excited. I'm excited to learn and try and get the the most out of this, but it's it's gonna take some work. But on top, I can feel it strong. So my uh, my exit speed was 184, and usually it's around 182. So it's definitely up, but yeah, it needs needs work. I raced this Soraka earlier. He beat me because I didn't know how to drive my car. So we should have a much better run now. Turn around. I'm racing an Audi. I feel like my RPM is still a bit low It seems quite low, I don't know if I recorded that run That was a 13.89 at 183 Okay, so I'm back into the 13s Can only get better from there I'll be racing a BVL should be a good run, I haven't raced one of those in a long time. So that's what the car looks like. Hopefully you can see that clearly. So we just got load shedding. I don't know if they're gonna flag us or what the deal is. But yeah, just reminding us that we are in South Africa. So in the run against that BVL, my launch RPM for some reason was too low. I don't know, I set it to 4,000. Um, and then when I checked on the laptop, it was 3,400. So I'm not actually looking at my RPM when I'm launching. So the car bogged 
or kind of just wasn't in the boost threshold um, so I think he took it I'll have to like obviously when I watch the video back I'll be able to see he says he took it so if he did congrats at Kilani you can't do testing everyone feels like they've just absolutely slaughtered you so I'm going to be racing the suspect racing mark one um, yeah he's he's definitely gonna beat me but I just love to see him in action so it's got a, a single pack clutch in it listen to how the thing rattles so yeah we are gonna go have a run I raised my RPM for some reason it, it's still too low I, I pushed it to about um, between 4000 and 42 now hopefully I'll be able to get off the line better yeah let's let's hope for a better run this time it's mark one sounds aggressive and it's got uh, 044 that sounds as loud as my dad's car which is quite hilarious Is this going to be a better run? Let's hope so. That was some smoke. stuff again it's been uh, it's been a while since since I missed third uh, we're gonna have to have another run don't even want to look at the time it's gonna be terrible but so I left the car I just launched on high boost probably not the best idea but I thought I would just test it and see what it's like it was a whole lot of wheel spinning to second so I'll be racing this Scooby. I was supposed to race Tariq again, but I think we'll have another run just now. Um, I raised up the RPM again. I'm at about 4.3, no, actually around 4.4 now. 4.4, 4, 4, 5. Let's see if that helps because I still feel like it's still bogging. I thought the Figo was going to do like a crazy burnout. I mean, that is quite a bit of smoke. But they threw water down for him and everything. Racing the suspect racing mark one again. Let's hope we get a better run. Please launch control work properly. Otherwise, I'm switching it off So it 
looks like launch control is not working again. Don't know what's going on with it. It's definitely active. Just testing, feeling the car out. Much better burnout. We'll try low boost, see if it any help. boost I lost my pedal so that was a 13.7 okay we have we have progress that was much better 13.7 at at what 13.7 at 181 Should have no lift shift of that because I can feel there's a little bit of a, a fall off between gears I just need to be a lot quicker with the shifts but that's not bad that's not too far off my previous best and there's, there's a whole lot more in the car I just need to get it been about a week. I recorded an outro and 
I was saying lots of things, but it was a lot of wrong things. So my assumption at Kilani was that I was hitting full boost. I was hitting 1.7 bar and all was well, even though I knew the car felt really slow because I didn't have like a real benchmark for racing. I, I didn't really know what it was supposed to be doing. So I was like, okay, cool, the car needs work. But then I, it was just bothering me so much. So I pulled the logs and I was shocked when I saw the logs. The car only hit 1.4 bar in fourth. So yeah, that was seriously down on power. So in first gear, it was hitting 0.6 bar. So less than gate pressure. And then in second, it was hitting like under one bar, third it was hitting 1.1 bar, so the car was a donkey, and it, yeah, it was, it was bothering me, we've since fixed it, I know what the issue is, that's coming in the next video, that's flipping cool, the car feels great again, but I just wanted to let you guys know that the car was just, yeah, it was terrible, I don't know, that was, this video was just a fail. But that's what happens when you test, when you change things up, you have to see what's up and test it. I should have tested on the street. Uh, Kilani is my, like, my stomping grounds, I prefer to do things at Kilani. But note to self when changing your setup, test on the street because people call you out and you lose and they think that they are just all that in a bag of potato chips so not not ideal but yeah i'm learning i'm new to this drag racing game and i'm excited to see what the car is going to do at the next event once it's sorted hitting all the boost anyway i hope you guys still enjoyed this video even though the car was so slow and I didn't know what I was doing, but <laughs> that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.